Hello friends, my name is Mario Tybanta from, easymetalworking.mock.com. In this video I want to share with you, how to read a vernier caliper in millimeters, vernier scale, 0.02 millimeters. Welcome. As I said before, in this video we will see, how to read a vernier caliper in millimeters, vernier scale, 0.02 millimeters. And as with the other cases, it is simple and easy to perform. So, let's start. The caliper has two elements that intervene in the measurement, these are, the main scale and the vernier scale. The main scale is divided in all length and it have a minimum measuring unit, it is a millimeter, while the vernier scale, takes fractional measure readings of the minimum division of the main scale, that is the millimeter. Rules for taking readings from the caliper in millimeters. Each division of the main scale is equal to a millimeter. For whole measurements, we must see the exactly match of the vernier scale 0 with a division of the main scale, also the number 10 of the vernier scale matches with a main scale division. Example. If the main scale 0 matches with the vernier scale 0, and the number 10 of the vernier scale matches with a main scale division, we have a 0 mm reading. If matches 5 divisions of the main scale with the vernier scale 0, and the number 10 of the vernier scale matches with a main scale division, we have a 5 mm reading. If matches 22 divisions of the main scale with the vernier scale 0, and the number 10 of the vernier scale matches with a main scale division, we have a 22 mm reading. The vernier scale of the caliper is divided into 50 equal parts. If 1 mm is divided by 50 equal parts, we obtain 0.02 mm. 0.02 mm is the caliper appreciation and is the minimum measure reading that this instrument can read. It is represented by a small division in the vernier scale, that is, each vernier scale division is equal to 0.02 mm or two hundredths of millimeter. Five divisions of the vernier scale are then 5 times 0.02, it is equal to 0.1 mm or one hundredth of millimeter. It is represented by one big division in the vernier scale. One hundredth of millimeter is represented with the number one in the vernier scale of the caliper. Two hundredths of millimeter are represented by the number two. Three hundredths of millimeter are represented by the number three and so on. Now, for taking measurements reading with the vernier scale, the only rule is see the division of the vernier scale that matches exactly with the division of the main scale. Multiply it by 0.02 and add the whole number that is in the main scale before the vernier scale 0. Examples. In the main scale, to the left of the vernier scale 0 there are 9 divisions, it means that we have 9 whole millimeters, in the vernier scale matches the 13 division with a main scale division, so, we must to apply the next procedure. Main reading, L, is equal to main scale reading, A plus vernier scale reading, B. A reading is length that corresponds to the whole numbers and it is 9 mm plus B reading is length that corresponds to the vernier caliper reading and in this example is 0.02 times 13 divisions equals 0.26 mm. So, main reading is 9 mm plus 0.26 mm equals to 9.26 mm. In the main scale, to the left of the vernier scale 0 there are 0 divisions, it means that we have 0 whole millimeters, in the vernier scale matches the 47 division with a main scale division, so, we must to apply the procedure. Main reading, L, is equal to main scale reading A plus vernier scale reading B. A reading is length that corresponds to the whole numbers and it is 0 mm plus B reading is length that corresponds to the vernier caliper reading and in this example is 0.02 times 47 divisions equals 0.94 mm. So, main reading is 0 mm plus 0.94 mm equals to 0.94 mm.
54 whole millimeters to the left of the vernier scale zero. In the vernier scale, matches the 23 division with a main scale division, it means 0 0.02 times 23 divisions, equals to 0 0.46 millimeters, so, main reading is 54 millimeters plus 0 0.46 millimeters equals to 54.46 millimeters. I hope this information is useful and helpful to you. Now I want to ask you the following. First, visit www.tcmiddleworking.mot.com for more help and information on everything related to machinism and machinist. Second, remember to subscribe to my channel. So that every time I post a new video, with more valuable information, I can let you know. Third, Click on like and put your comment or question, it will be a pleasure to answer you. And finally, share this video on your favorite social media and let all your friends know about it, someone might need it. I hope that everything you saw today will be useful to you. Was with you, Mario Tyrant from, www.tcmodelworking.mod.com Thanks for watching.